All right, today we are doing another scouting mission. What's up, Sam? What up? We're trying to do this at least once a week. It's to kind of just go around, explore new neighborhoods, try to find some good spots to film. Because when you have a good spot to film, everything else just kind of falls into place a lot nicer. And this place is like a dam. I actually was an extra long time ago, and I came and filmed here for a Miley Cyrus music video. American something. Come on, man. Don't you know your Miley Cyrus song? I don't. I'm more of a Demi Lovato kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, I was like American something. But yeah, we shot that over here. So there's the dam over there. Hey, Sam, there's an entrance right here. <laughs> I'm no beaver, but damn. Sam and his one-liners. You have a Fitbit, right? Uh-huh. Ever since I got this Apple Watch, I'm so much more motivated to do little walks like this. Okay used to hate walking to places, but now I'm like, gotta get my steps. But then I get really excited because when you reach 10,000 steps, like a little disco ball appears and like a little party thing. Wow. And I get so like, oh yeah, I did it. I know, every time I finish my activity rings on here, it throws me a little party, it's great. So it's on the other side of this, and I don't know if we can like run up this and get on the other side. I mean, that'd be the most direct route. But I don't know how steep that is. What do you think, Sam? You think it's too steep to get over? No. You think we could do it? I think we could do anything we put our minds into. Okay, cool. I wonder if Chicky could do it, though. Chicky, what do you think? Can you do it? Never mind. <laughs> okay, this looks better. Oh, yeah. Now you're just showing off. Party in the USA, that's what... Party in the USA? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's it. Party in the USA, that's it. I should look in that music video and see if I could find myself. With a dream. It's a cool looking spot. It's just the freeway is just right there, so there's a lot of noise pollution. This is kind of cool, huh? Just like in the middle of LA, just yeah. like this big old open spot. They film a lot of car commercials here. It's a pretty good, like flat, even surface with a pretty cool background. And it's right here in the middle of LA, so it's easy to get to. I feel like this would be a good spot for you to film like a breakdancing video. Yeah, that was cool. We definitely need to just keep doing this at least once a week. Yeah. At least. I think if you have a list of like 20 of your favorite spots to shoot, then that makes you a much more valuable photographer or filmmaker, huh? Like if you don't know where you're gonna go shoot, then it really makes you look a little confused. Or if you repeat the same exact spots over and over, then your shots just all start to blend together, you know? So just having like a list of 10, 20, 30, 100, your favorite locations, really, this is a good idea. This doesn't really feel like the middle of LA, does it? Until you hear all the traffic and the helicopters flying right over us. But yeah, this is like right next to the 101 and 405, one of the busiest freeway intersections. I feel like this is a place that they would have filmed The Walking Dead or something. Yeah, uh huh? Man, it smells like poo. Yeah. Are we walking through manure right now? Yep. I, I think we are. That smells so bad. Isn't it weird they call it manure just to make it not sound like poop? <laughs> I know. It's like manure. Yeah, I would like to buy six pounds of poop. Just got a new package I'm very excited about. Let's go check it out. I've been practicing every time I poop, I practice this. Damn it. That's what you're doing in the bathroom? Yeah, why do we look so red? Is it? There's a big old red fence right there. I think that's reflecting all that red light. But anyways, I'm so excited for this. <gasps> wow. What is it? Actually, they probably already know what it is because I'm probably gonna just make this the title of the video. I've been wanting to get one of these. They're pretty steep though. They're not cheap, especially the carbon fiber one, but it just seems like the best compact tripod there is. As, as far as I, I know. Peak Design Travel Tripod. Yeah, I'm sure most of you guys have already seen this. I'm pretty late in the game, but this one is the carbon fiber one. Dude, this is actually really small. You just go and unlash them all and then just Ooh. Titty height, this is perfect. But honestly, I'm very impressed by the functionality of it. It's very easy to adjust and then tighten. When you tighten it, it feels nice and snug. When it's fully folded up, it's honestly big as a vlogging tripod, but you can actually just pick it up and carry it around. And it's not so huge to the point where it's completely unreasonable. So check it out, you just hold it out like that. Not bad. What else did I order? Oh. 24 to 70 f 2.8. It's a Sigma. I've been meaning to get a mid-range lens for a while, but this one seems to be pretty solid because it is the 24 to 70 f 2.8, but it also has some sort of stabilization inside of it. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna have to be a main channel video, so I have to do some testing with this, but oh, I'm excited about this lens. Uh, 
think Carrie ordered these. I think this is fish food. Oh wait, no, bee pollen. Okay, I remember Carrie talking about this. I think this is just generally something that's supposed to be healthy for us humans. I think, I don't know, I'll have to ask her later. Super excited about this tripod. Let's, I guess we'll just make this the video. All right, let's do a deep dive on this tripod. Okay, so it says the max load of this is 20 pounds or 9.1 kilograms. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? I mean, 20 pounds is heavy. That's like a red setup. This thing can hold 20 pounds. I don't even feel comfortable doing putting this on there. Isn't that like 12 pounds? This is 9.5 pounds oh, as this sits right here. So this should be way within the range of this tripod. It feels a little sketchy though. Let's do it. So this base plate isn't a standard screw or a coin. It's a hex or an Allen wrench. And this is actually a lot more secure. You could really tighten this down and this is what sits right here. So that's actually really cool to have the tool always with you. And uh, I guess let's try this. Honestly, it actually feels pretty secure. Like I thought it was gonna be so flimsy, but it's on there. How would it feel if I raise the center column a little bit though? That's gonna be a little shady. No, even, what? How about like that? Like I was expecting to feel like, oh, it's gonna fall over, but yeah, I mean, it's holding this just fine. So this is 10 pounds, so maybe it really can hold 20 pounds. That's pretty good. Anyways, I'm starving to death. Let's take this out and get some food. What should we get? Birria tacos with consomme. Wait, I have no idea what you just said. Let's go. The birria tacos. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh man, that looks so good. The lengua. Oh, you got his cow tongue? Hell yeah. Lengua. That is cow tongue right there. Lengua is one of those foods like I almost wish I didn't know what it was because it's pretty good. Yeah. But then once you know, it's like, oh, it's okay. I, I could see it feels like I'm chewing on a tongue. <laughs> but it's good. I still eat them. So you know how we tried to do the 24 hour straight vlog a little while ago? I think we're going to try again on Saturday. So what is that? A couple days from now? So these tacos though, oh. Anyways, back to the tripod. I think it's very easy to underestimate this tripod because it's just so small and so skinny that you don't expect it to be as strong as it is. But it is actually pretty sturdy. So this plate here clicks in like that. And then you rotate this so that it's now locked. And now with that lock sign, it doesn't come out. And with the center column up, you're definitely gonna lose some stability. You know, it kind of wobbles. But even though it's wobbling, it still feels secure. Like I'm not so worried about it tipping over or just popping off. Visually, when I look at it, I go, this thing is gonna fall off. But when I feel it, it's, it's actually surprisingly well on there. They do have this hook down there, so you could hang some sandbags or a backpack just to give it a little bit of stabilization, which is definitely something I would recommend. You can never be too careful when you have a setup this large on there. This ball head's pretty solid. You just turn this ring to lock it into place. So check it out, locked and loose. Lock and loose. It's right next to the lock for your tripod plate. So this is the tripod plate lock and that is the ball head lock. And I like this feeling because it's a pretty big ring so you could really tighten it down without much effort and it really holds the camera there. It's definitely more stable when you have that center column lowered. I mean, that's like all tripods. So now with this hook, they say there's a phone clamp down here. You might need to get a close up of this. This is pretty small here. So you actually pull this down, turn it, and this little thing comes out. Oh, okay, look at that. So this is a phone clamp. How does this even go on here? I'm guessing like this. Oh yeah, there we go. It's on there like that. So this thing opens up and it just kind of goes in there like that. Hey, there we go. My first thoughts on this tripod was it's cool, but it's expensive. But now, let's be real, it's still expensive, but I see why it's expensive. It's definitely quality stuff. And the, the design of this is genius. Nice little touch there. That just folds in here and just stores down in here. All right, so we saw how high it can get. Let's see how low it can get. So again, I'm just gonna pop this back off. And I think that means I can remove this. Oh yeah, there we go. You can go inverted like this to get some top down shots or you just wanna get it nice and low. So there's like this little Allen wrench in there and I think I can remove that. So it's coming loose. I feel like I'm messing with a puzzle here. Okay, so this is coming out. Oh, okay, cool. So the center column just comes out with a screw right there. Drop that in there. So now I can press these levers, kind of get it into low mode like this. Oh yeah. Check that out. Obviously this isn't a fluid head, so it's not designed for smooth moves, but just locking down a camera, I mean, this is 
awesome. I mean, the design of this thing, it's, it's really brilliant. Now they did send this tripod to me for free because these aren't shipping yet. I think they're gonna start shipping early April, if I'm not mistaken. And I just wanted to get early access to one, and, but I was gonna pay for it. And they're just like, hey, we'll send you one. So thanks, appreciate it, Peak Design. But again, I'm allowed to say whatever I want about this thing, and this thing is, really cool they come in two versions so there's the aluminum version and this is the carbon fiber version apparently this has a little bit more stability and it's 2.81 pounds which is actually really really light for a tripod of this height but it's 599.95 so 600 bucks basically but if you can swing it this is this is the one to get and then there's the aluminum version just like this but it is 3.44 pounds or 1.56 kilograms. So it's just over like a half pound more. There's a little bit more weight, but that one is 349 or 350 bucks. So that is probably gonna be more popular just because of that price point, I would assume. 350 bucks versus 600 bucks. But if you hike this thing around everywhere and you want that extra stability, then it might be worth paying the extra 250 bucks to get the carbon fiber version. I'll throw a link down below if you wanna throw in a pre-order. And all the modifications I've been doing, I've just been doing with this one tool and it has two different allen wrench sizes and it also looks like there's another head adapter that's sold separately so that's just a separate piece so i think you just pull off this center column throw that one on and then you can attach your own tripod head on there that has a 3 8 inch so i guess when that adapter comes out it becomes a little bit more of an option for video you could attach a maybe a really small lightweight uh, fluid head on there i really am genuinely impressed right now at the engineering behind this tripod. Like it really feels like they spent a lot of time at every little corner of this thing. And that right there. How do I show you guys how skinny this is? <laughs> uh, don't ask me why there's a bottle of tequila in the car, but look at, look at, see, look at that. We don't drink this in the car, by the way. We just, we literally just brought it home, okay? Don't, don't drink and drive. Probably don't leave. Actually, I don't think this is allowed to be in the front of the car. I think, right? Legally, it's supposed to be in the trunk. Yeah, because it's yes. open. So this isn't supposed to be in the car at all. Uh, let's go be some comments. I mean, since we have the C500 Mark II with us and this new lens, let's uh, shoot the comment read on this new lens. It's windy up here, huh? It is it's a good so thing we have this dead cat on here. We're recording audio from this microphone, by the way, because we're kind of far from the camera. What'd you guys think of this lens though? It looks pretty good. Very crisp. I would have watched you sleep for two hours. It's creepy. Yeah, that is it's so creepy. creepy. That's... You creep. 107, cutest moment ever. What is this? You see oh. the carries? <laughs> that, that, po that position right there, it's the most uncomfortable thing, I feel like, right? No, it's actually really, really comfortable. It's really comfortable. Wait, like, but even with your legs, even with your, your legs don't get in, her legs don't get in the way of yeah, your legs? Yeah, you kind of put your leg kind of right under the arm, and it's actually comfortable. You could sleep like that for a while. Why aren't you filming in Sam's magical backyard all the time? I, I, I've never seen your backyard, but I imagine it to be magical. <laughs> Wasn't it called life casting back in the old days? People would set up a camera in their residence and stream their daily lives. Oh, so maybe people have done it? I still want to see that sparring match that was promised. Are you going to spar <laughs> Dylan? <laughs> well, he's not going to be here. I think he'll be back by then. Oh, okay, then yes. Oh. Sam says we can cut his hair. Yeah, but nothing below a two. <laughs> We're going to have some fun a two, with that. Because with a two, I can still, you know, get a fade and, you know, make it look good. But anything below that, I'm just like... It's gonna look like a cholo. Oh. The background looks way cooler than it than it is. I know the background itself is not that cool, but like with this camera, it, it looks nice. It look the colors are nice. The dynamic range is there. Pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> few more things I want to mention. First of all, Peak Design has lifetime warranties on their products. So if you're really if you about spending the money, a lifetime warranty on camera gear, I mean that's awesome. Also the modularity, you can replace out these rubber feet for spiked feet. But if you're trying to travel super ultra light, like if you go backpacking, every ounce counts. You can pop this thing off and actually remove all the stages. So look how hollow that is. It's just carbon fiber in there. So now you just have a very hollow leg. So you replace this out with one feet and I think it says you drop the weight of this by 40% or something like that. If you wanna carry this thing around with a leash, there's a hook down here and a hole right here. I slept on it, thought about any other potential cons of this thing, but as a ultra portable travel friendly tripod, this is just leagues above anything else out there. So they did a killer, killer job. Now there's one thing that has been bugging me. 20 pounds, 
Really? Do you know how heavy a 20 pound camera is? This is a 20 pound camera. You know I gotta do it. It's, just, it's this is not gonna work. I mean about 10 pounds, sure. That's impressive, but 20 pounds? Honestly, I just don't buy it. I mean, just like look at the size of the tripod plate. Mozzarella, you are in my shot. If this works though, this would be a great thumbnail. Holy shit. <laughs> Should we raise the center column? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Link in description.